So I had just done five funerals in just as many months. Two of those funerals were for children under five years old. And I, I don't know what these families do in the midst of such grief. I remember looking at, at Elena's parents and Tommy's parents thinking, how are they dealing with this grief, this pain, this sadness, especially heading into the holidays. And I felt led and prompted to write a song called The Sweetest Gift because I know there are people at the holidays who don't want to celebrate Christmas. It's just too painful. And I felt like God was speaking to my heart saying, I'm going to give you a song that will help people who don't want to celebrate Christmas have a reason to celebrate. And so I wrote this song with uh, Tommy in mind, with Elena in mind, with their families in mind. And what's amazing is God has taken these two little lives and he's used tragic stories to bring hope to millions of people all over the world. And it really is amazing that, that God has been able to comfort in the midst of such grief through this song to the point where even John Schmidt from the Piano Guys was sitting at his computer two months after losing his 21-year-old daughter and he sees this video scroll past his feed and is just so moved and, and emails me and says, wow, this song brought such hope and encouragement. And they put it on their CD and here they just sh shot a video of the song. It's just proof that it goes beyond how well somebody can sing or write. It goes, it, it goes to the heart of what really matters and that's that the hope of Christ can, can help us in our grief. And I'm just so glad that in the midst of whatever it is that you and I are facing, there's this promise that it's temporary that there's a promise of joy, eternal joy, eternal hope in life um, with, with God that can pull us out of our temporary grief. And so it's, it's a beautiful promise and it's impacted millions through this song. Thanks so much for being a part of the story. Thanks for sharing it. Uh, by just sharing it and encouraging others in your own life that are going through things, you are a part of this story. Thanks for sharing the hope of Christ with me.